Hello everybody and welcome to another um, old school style Savas Algebra 2 Topic 3 Lesson uh, 6 video. This is example 2. Um, this is using the rational root theorem to figure out if the volume of the unit can actually equal 154 feet and then using this kind of idea or information to uh, to basically solve this equation. All right, so a storage company is designing a new storage unit based on the dimensions shown. The volume of the container is modeled by the polynomial v of x equals 2x cubed minus 7x squared plus 6x, where x is the width in feet. What are the dimensions of the container in feet if the volume of the unit is 154 feet cubed? All right, so we got to determine using the rational root theorem if 154 feet can actually be um, our value. So we're looking at this. This is what we're going to, we've got to formulate this. So 2x cubed minus 7x squared plus 6x. Can this actually be 154? All right, so then what I'm going to do is I need this to be equal to zero so that we can use that rational root theorem. So I'm going to move that 154 over by subtracting it. And now I have my a nuts, which is 154. And I have my a n, which is 2. So let's look at factors of this. Factors of 154. are going to be positive or negative one, positive or negative two, positive or negative, not three, three doesn't go into that because three doesn't go into four, four will not go into that because that's 30, 20, yeah, four does not go into that. Um, the next one I believe is going to be seven, positive or negative, 8, 9, and 10, I don't believe, go into this. The next one is going to be positive, negative 11. And then we have 14. 11 goes in there. 22 would go in there. And then 7 would go in there. So that's going to be 77 because 7 times 11. Um, and then we have 154, because 11 times 14. All right, and again, if you're having problems looking at the factors, go ahead and use your uh, calculator for that. Look for um, things that divide into 154. Factors of 2 are plus or minus 1, plus or minus 2. All right, so right away... I am looking for all possible rational roots. And we're going to eliminate any repeating values because we don't need it multiple times. So let's see here. We have plus or minus 1 over 1. Then we have plus or minus 2 over 1. Plus or minus 7 over 1. Plus or minus 11 over 1, plus or minus 14 over 1, plus or minus 22 over 1, plus or minus 77 over 1. And by the way, now we're looking at our factors that will make this equal to 0. And then we have plus or minus 154 over 1. Okay, now let's look at the 2s we will have plus or minus two, oh, sorry, one over two, plus or minus two over two, plus or minus seven over two, plus or minus 11 over two, plus or minus 14 over two, plus or minus two over two, 
plus or minus 77 over 2, and plus or minus 154 over 2. Okay, looking at this, we're going to eliminate anything that is similar. So this is essentially 1 over 1. This is essentially 7 over 1. This is essentially 11 over 1. This one, I believe, is 77. Yeah, this one's a 77 over 1. What are, what are this? Is there anything else in here that I could eliminate? I don't think so. All right, so what we have here is we're going to look for when the value of 2x cubed minus 7x squared plus 6x minus 154 is equal to 0. We're going to be testing to see when it's equal to 0. So basically, we're going to substitute each one of these in. So what we're going to substitute in is 1 half. And I would suggest, or actually, instead of suggesting, let's go to my calculator. I was going to say, I suggest using a calculator, but why not just jump over to the calculator? All right. Uh, let's get out of here. Second quit. Clear everything up. So let's go to y equals, clear that. Let's type in our equation. 2x cubed, 2x cubed, minus 7x squared, x squared, doo -doo -doo, plus 6x, minus 154. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to hit second and window. I'm going to set my table. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down to where it says auto versus ask. I'm going to hit enter into ask. And then I'm going to hit the second key and the graph key. And I will have a blank table. Now, what this allows me to do is because it's asking us for the x value. So we're going to input the x value. So I can put in 1 half, so 0.5, hit enter. And I can see that's not a 0. I could put a negative 0.5, hit enter. And notice that is not a 0. And I could keep doing this for each one of my values. So uh, my next one is 1, negative 1. 2, negative 2, 7, negative 7, 11, negative 11. And then what will you what you will find is that if I do 11 divided by 2 going through this tedious work, I find that this is 0. And so now I know that 11 divided by 2 is one of my roots, which means that I could factor that out. Because again, we're looking at a cubed here, and we can't factor out the cubed um, where we are right now. So I'm going to use this rational root theorem to take that factor of 11 over 2 out. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to use synthetic division. So 11 divided by 2 we found was a factor or a solution to my polynomial. Getting my coefficients, this is 2, negative 7. So I'm using synthetic to reduce my equation into a factored form. All right, 2 comes down. We're going to look at 11 here. Set negative 7 plus 11 is going to be 4. 4 times 11 divided by 2 is going to be 22. 6 plus 22 is 28. Ooh, 28 divided by 2. 28 divided by 2 times 11 is going to be 
154, and this should be 154 because we should get a remainder of zero because this is a solution which can then be turned into a factor. So we're looking at 2x squared plus 4x plus 28 times x. Change the sign of that, which is 11 divided by 2. And so the factor form of the equation is x minus 11 divided by 2 times the polynomial x. 2x squared plus 4x plus 28. And this is indeed equal to 0. Um, so if I take this and I look for factors, I don't think anything that's going to be multiplied to give me a positive 28 will give me positive 4. But remember back to the discriminant. We could try the discriminant to see if this will give us a real root. So looking at this, the discriminant again is that thing that b squared minus 4ac. It's this part right here to remind you of discriminant. So we're going to look at 4 squared, which is 16 minus 4 times 2 times 28. And that's just going to be very heavy on the negative side, which is going to be negative 208. And according to the discriminant, this is a negative. This is less than zero. So we have two um, complex solutions. So the only real solution to our equation is going to be and divided by 2. So the width of the container, remember now x is representing the width of the container. So the width of the container is 11 divided by 2, or 5 and a half feet. The length is going to be 11 by 2 minus 2, or 3 and a half feet, and the height is going to be 3 or 8 feet. Alrighty, so let me type this out for you guys. A point of 5 feet. And then just looking at the container, you have 2x minus 3 for the height. So the height times 11 divided by 2 minus 3 or 8 feet. And then again, looking at the illustration that they provided us, the width is x minus 2. So then the length is x minus 2 or 11 divided by 2 minus 2 or 3.5 feet. Oh, sorry about that. I hit my Wacom tablet. That's not a number. That is a 3. All right, guys. So there you go. This is a long word problem using that rational root theorem to find our um, solutions. So again, this is finding our solutions. Dividing that solution out to get, the, get it into a factored form, seeing if we could factor the second polynomial that we just divided 11 out of 2 out, and then finishing up our problem with the sentences. Rational root theorem is great for polynomials that are greater than x squared to find the solutions for it. So again, practice this. You do have a try it. Let me double check to see if I... Did the try it in the picture and it is so make sure you try the try it again until the service is up and i will see you in the next video